Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Sonic Love. So in today's video, we're going to be modding and swapping out some of the parts to make sure that we can customize our RGB 10 Max to the way that we want. You can go onto PowKiddy's website and buy the shells themselves. Also, all these parts. You can get a hold of a few different colored switch analog sticks. I've gone for blue. But I did look for blue buttons and blue D-pad and extra buttons in a different colour, but you can't get them. They're not available at the moment. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put in the blue switch analog sticks. I think orange and blue looks really nice together. In today's video, I'm going to be installing these and I'm going to be taking all these buttons out and the membranes out. And I'm going to be spraying the buttons and also the D-pad and the shoulder buttons blue with spray paint. I will show my spraying ability. It is just light bursts of spray with constant movement left and right. You only want to spray it like very, very lightly. Uh, you don't want it to clog or clump up. So I will be showing through the technique of that, but hopefully it will work out all right. And as I say, orange and blue is one of my most favorite colors. So you will need something to pry open these little tiny sponge i call them sponge but just something to get in in between in in the side push it in and then just pop them out it should just literally pop out there we go there is one it's like a little tiny sponge So just like the yeah, just like the Odroid Go Super, uh, I only managed to change out the analog sticks because they had those horrible disc like analog sticks. So I swapped them over. I put PS Vita, but it'd be nice just to have the switch with different colours and hopefully the spray will work out okay, but we'll see in the end. So we literally have to take everything off and everything out. So pop out the screws. I do love blue and orange. Okay, so you just have to get your fingernail in there and glide it across everywhere just to undo the clips. If you have got like a plastic card or thick plastic, it is a lot easier, but just be careful because you don't want to break the clips. But it does come off pretty easy. So when you open it, you will see it being attached. So you will have to detach the battery and also the speaker. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just turned itself on. Lovely jubbly. So let's take out these speakers. They just clip off very easily, guys. Just pull them off and I can then be placed to the side. So we need to take out all the buttons and as you can see where the switch analog sticks, just one simple screw in the corner. I think there's two on this one, but I don't think it will matter. I think it should be fine. I think if it goes down here, in fact, is there two? There might be one underneath. Yes, there is two. That's fine. It should just be an automatic replacement, which is pretty cool. So we will have to take out the analog sticks. There's one. Now simply, we just lift up the tab. There should be a little tab that you lift up. And it should just be a case of pulling it out. It should just come out very easily. There is one. So let's unclip this side. And 
and then it should just easily pop off. Okay, so we don't want to stop there. We do have a series of screws. You can see two screws along the bottom. You can see a couple of screws also on the bottom, there's three this side. We need to take it all out because we need all the buttons. The R1 and R2 have fell out, so we'll also be needing them. But we also need the face buttons and we also need the triggers and these little badges here. So let's take out the five screws along the bottom first. I don't think there is any above the top, but we will see. Okay, that should be all the screws out now, unless I've missed one along the top, but I don't think I have. Okay, now this should easily just lift up. Okay. Okay, so when you lift it up, it should have a ribbon attached. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, but it's for the actual... I don't know if you can see that, guys. Okay, so that's the ribbon for the screen. You just have to be incredibly careful. And we want all the buttons that are necessary. So we want the start and select, which is over here. Now we're going to spray all these with blue, matching the analog sticks. So what I'll do guys is I'm going to stop it here and I'll be back with the spraying. Here we have all the buttons, all face up because obviously we only want to spray the tops and the sides. We don't need to spray the bottoms because that'll be hidden away inside the console. I'm using Cobra Lal. It seems to be the uh, best spray paint that I've used so far. So I'm just gonna be doing very, very light strokes at a, quite a far distance, because we wanna lightly spray it. Okay, so I think they're all covered now. And now it's just a case of waiting for it to dry. So after you've waited that they're dry, you want to get yourself some clear lacquer. This seems to be the best one that I've used so far. So we're gonna spray this just so the paint stays on and it's covered with a layer of clear lacquer so it doesn't come off on your fingers and it makes it nice and shiny and look real nice. careful of wind hey guys and welcome back so i've done all the buttons as you can see excuse the paint on the fingers but as you can see they're really nice they've got a lovely gloss on them I'm not going to leave horrible marks and also they're shiny enough with the clear gloss not to wear down really 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 quick 
so they look really nice glossy and shiny yep i think it has turned out okay same with the l1 and l2 buttons they just look really really nice obviously we haven't done underneath but now's the time to put them in place so it goes really really nice as i say it's covered it doesn't come off it's really really nice so let's assemble it back together again so first off we're going to put all the components back in the top part first okay so first off we need to move this plate just a little bit down and twist it a little bit to the right just so we can get ourselves in there so we can start putting them back in together so we need the left so we need to make sure that they fit in quite nice So you can just rest in L2. Should also just sit in quite nice. is just a case of placing it on and matching it with the circles I don't know if you can see that let me move that down a little bit but there is a nice little spot here and here place I don't know if you can see that guys so the two orange bits here and the third one over here they just fit in quite nice make sure you push it right the way down two button put in the R1 button so we're nearly there We need to put in
Okay, magic. So now what we need to do is put in the screws back into the motherboard. There was a total of four, or five, should I say? Three on the right hand side. So now that's all the screws in on the motherboard. That's all the buttons now being clicky. Really nice, let me just see. Okay, so now we need to put in the analog sticks very easily. in the screws Make sure it's firmly tightened, but not too tight. Just a few things to be wary about. When you're attaching the ribbon cable back, just make sure you've got a good enough bite in there and make sure that you be careful with the screw underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but that was a bit fiddly. Uh, but apart from that, that's all the screws put back together. So let's attach the battery and the speaker and then screw it back together. It's all clipped into place. Yeah, I think it looks quite nice. Buttons feel nice, D-pad feels nice. I like the blue switches. All the switches seem to be working. Yeah, I definitely love the blue and orange. It looks really nice. Love to know what you think guys, are you going to mod it yourself? It feels nice, all the buttons work. I suppose the biggest test is to turn it on. Awesome.
yeah, so overall, I'm really, really happy. Love to know what you think, guys. Are you going to mod it yourself? I absolutely love the colour scheme. I think the blue and orange accents just make it look really, really nice. All the buttons work, which I'm really happy. Clicky buttons work. All the buttons work. Really nice. Yeah, absolutely love it. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I will definitely be doing more colours i think i might order the kit itself as i say you can order the skins and you can order the buttons so that's really really nice touch and as i say i love modern stuff as you well know guys but i think this is one of my favorites so far love to know what you think and as always guys take care